offspring. Mother is here. Mommy Cray Cray. And we are going to be trying lazy gadgets that everyone must try, must know, whatever. I was watching Natalie's outlet and I was watching True and True and Five Minute Crafts, even Wingy, and all of them have these lazy hacks. So I was inspired by all of these people, all of these YouTube channels, and decided, you know what? I'm lazy. I have plenty of tricks and tips for people. <laughs> just be tips and tricks. I actually have a few gadgets that are for lazy people. If you don't want to do nothing! Like me, I never want to do anything. Except for eat. Eat and sleep. Eat and sleep, those are my favorite activities. If you are like me and those are your favorite activities, I have bad news. You're lazy! Our first lazy gadget is this little thing called the quarter cutter. So it's supposed to be an easy way to cut fruit and veggies without actually having to take a knife out and chop them. I don't know about you, when I'm cooking, part of the prep process, all the chopping and slicing and dicing and peeling and you know, all that stuff. Yeah, this is supposed to save you from that. We're cutting Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, lemons, mushrooms, limes, small tomatoes, zucchini. Honestly, why are the mushrooms though? Can't you just buy the mushrooms from the grocery store that's already cut up? Girl, I don't know. But we're gonna open it up and see what we have. I tell you what, this packaging isn't for lazy people. Oh, hello, Lazy Gadget Company. Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's mommy. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to make your packaging for lazy people, since your product is. <laughs> They're already cutting into my lazy time. I have TV to watch. I'm having to, I mean, there's layers to this thing. Ugh, I hope this isn't gonna take a NASA degree. Oh, and I guess you push your little thing right there and it's gonna cut it for you? Well, lucky for you, I have a few things we can cut up with this bad boy. Let's give it a try. First up on this lazy train is this cucumber. Now, the way they show this cucumber on here, it is obviously they've cut off the ends. That is not lazy enough. If I'm still having to cut, what is the purpose of this? So, let's get our knife and cutting board. We've got our knife. So let's cut off both ends. Now the hard work is done. Great. Whoa. Did you guys see that? It cut it. That was a quick chop. Let's cut some more lazy stuff. I have a carrot here, and usually I peel the outside of carrots. But peeling the outside of your carrot is not a lazy thing to do. But for the sake of our laziness, let's just show you. I'm gonna put my carrot in like so, and this time I'm gonna push it in, and let's see if it cuts it just as well. I might lose a finger in the process, let's see. Let's see, come on. I have four carrot pieces. So let's try the line, which does have the sticker on, so it does fall. Da, 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 da. Did you do it? <gasps> so I'm gonna give this little slicer probably maybe a four. I'll give it a four. If you have a bunch of veggies and fruits to cut out, I think this is a lazy win. <sighs> oh, oh. Our next lazy gadget is going to involve this beautiful, delicious winter watermelon. Although watermelons are only supposed to be grown in summertime. Normally to cut a watermelon, which I would never do, I always buy it pre-cut from the grocery store. I'm sure it's cheaper just to buy it like this, you know, and not have them do the work for you. So if you want to be ultimately lazy, just buy the pre-cut fruit. But for the sake of this demonstration, we will be cutting this today. I feel like I'm pricked. This is how I used to rub my belly. Let me see. I legit looked like this when I was pregnant. Ooh. We are going to be using the slice right. That's right, the slice right. It's supposed to cut melons. You have your cantaloupe, honeydew, and then randomly cake. We're working with this melon theme and they're just like, ah, why not cake? I believe this is true lazy marketing. I mean, the person who designed this couldn't even take the time to think of another fruit. They just threw in cake, just. That's my kind of marketer. You are saving time by buying this. Although you can just buy it pre-cut. Uh-oh, the dreaded instructions. The ultimate lazy product needs no instructions. When you see it, you just know what to do with it. Now, looking at this, I'm trying to figure out, do I know what to do with this? Seems simple enough from the pictures. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna have to use another tool. Is it truly lazy if I have to then go and get another tool? I need to deliver bad on your promises. Oh, it's a lot of effort for me to go through. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, Lord, I haven't cut a watermelon in a while. <sighs> this is already turning out to be more effort than I was ready to give. I'm really scared to take this knife up. Okay, this is working a little better. <laughs> I have to work. I just want to eat. If we go by the 
pictures is we're going to slice and lift. Slice and lift. And we're going to take our Captain Hook. I know that Who has their phone on? Someone always has their phone on when I'm filming. Wait, is my phone? Oh, okay. Now you have to be a little precise with the cuts though, because I just cut into the other piece. I'm getting uneven slices here. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. It's getting the fruit out. Look at that guys. Oh. Now I have to clean up. Oh, overall I would give my Captain Hook a, uh, this is a three. It's not the ultimate lazy. It's trying to help you out. The bad thing is it's cutting into a fruit that's not lazy. Watermelon is not a lazy fruit. Grapes are a lazy fruit. Watermelon is a tough, cumbersome, non-lazy fruit, so it can only do but so much. We're gonna switch gears here after all that fruit eating. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There was once upon a time when mommy was super fit. I mean like six pack. Don't believe me? I told you. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a mommy slim deal. And also make sure you guys go to my Facebook and my Instagram, Mommy Cray Cray. I am gonna put it on the screen right here in your face because I, I need people to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have no friends. Our next hack is getting away from food. I'm done eating right now. No more eating. Are you filming it? Introduce to you Wonder Arms! Ugh. Wonder Arms is this beautiful gadget. Other than the shake weight, I have to get my hands on a shake weight. Please let me get my hands on a shake weight. I haven't seen a lazy arm workout system until I ran across this at Bed Bath and Beyond. This was in the Beyond section, in case you're wondering. This promises to shake tight and tone. We're working our triceps. Biceps. Give me shoulders. Your chest, I'm not even going there. Your back, put your back and do it, girl. Put your back and do it, girl. And what? And more. What's the more? This promises to give me amazing results at home, reduce strain on my loins. What? Oh, joints. <laughs> so look at this. This is like something on a Star Trek Enterprise, like dun 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 dun. You're coming up with this. You're not doing anything else because this looks like the most complicated piece of machinery I have ever seen. And it comes with three bands. So I'm assuming this is level one. So we are definitely a level one. So you want your forearms here. And then you're gonna, ooh. I winked it around if you want to learn how to get your line dancing cowgirl shuffle on, this is it. Oh my gosh, I would love like a line dancing workout class. Twerk, 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 twerk. Woo! I'm tired. Girl, I'm too lazy for all this working out. Okay. All right, let's try level three. We've got ourselves warmed up. Ooh, my arms are actually getting a workout. I can see me using this while I'm watching TV, no lie. You know what, I'm gonna give this a five, guys. I'm gonna give this a five. Wonder Arms, I was making fun of him. I'm gonna be sore in the morning, but is we working or is we no? Yeah! Ooh. I think the number one thing that most lazy people have hate to do is clean. I hate cleaning, I don't like cleaning, I'm not a good cleaner, I'm not organized. I'm none of the above. So anything that can help me, you know, get my life together in that area, I'm gonna be using. So here's something that you wanna try. It is this grime buster. This looks like this could do some damage. I don't like washing dishes. I don't like cleaning or scrubbing anything. This says that it's an all purpose scrubber. I'm assuming you don't wanna scrub this, you know, scrub your toilet and then go scrub your pots and pans. So you may wanna stick to one area and not purpose it all over the house cause I'm gonna be eating at your house. My arms are tired. I just did that very strenuous workout with Wonder Arms. I don't have the strength or dexterity at this point to scrub anything. <gasps> I cannot 
cannot believe it. I'm in shock right now. I'm in legit shock. As I said in the Bed Bath & Beyond video, I will pay the 10 cent extra for you to put a battery in these things. Just put the battery in there, y'all. I will pay the extra 10 cent or whatever to have batteries included. Guys, if the batteries were already inside, woo! That is hope we are walking on. Take your shoes off, Moses. This is the burning bush holy ground because there's batteries in there. They have put them inside. Come on, y'all. Y'all couldn't take the extra step to put them inside. But you know what? Rome wasn't built in a day. Oprah wasn't built in a day. Nothing can happen overnight. We have to work for what we want. I wonder if this will work to like get all my blackheads and stuff out. Ow! Ooh. Do not rub your face with this. Okay, so we're gonna try scrubbing a few things and see what happens with this. So I put some soap and water on him right there. So let's, my stove is pretty clean, but. Ooh, it's working. It is scrubbing right there. So we have the cutting board that we did our watermelon on. So let's turn this on and see if we get, I mean, it's scrubbing. Okay, so let's put on this other one. My nails are dirty, let's see. It's just a scrubbing. Yeah. This is working and it's making a really pretty pattern too. I'm gonna give this a four. We are now back in the kitchen. It seems like every lazy hack is made for eating. I guess because lazy people are really interested in eating. Like in eating and eating and eat. What am I saying? In eating like me. And that is why we have here the citrus peeler. I don't consider an orange an easy fruit. You do have to peel it. Any fruit you have to peel is a two or three on the laziness scale. Peeling dead skin off is a fun hobby of mine, so I don't mind peeling. It's just that sometimes when you don't have nails or you have the little cut, you have to go through it. Or I hate, 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 hate having to peel all the fruit that my kids want to eat because they can't do it or whatever. Here we have our citrus peeler. Will you marry me? It looks like we stick it on our hand like that and then this little nub, no, that's gonna peel the orange. So I have one of the biggest oranges I've ever seen. It's like the size of a grapefruit. This is a huge, huge orange and I'm gonna dig it in. Let's see, Ooh. okay, okay. Is that me or is that digging in there? I'm gonna read y'all. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Look, it's getting it off. It's just to get you started and then you use this to peel it off. Is we working? Oh, is we not? I don't know, I feel like this is one of those lazy gadgets. I mean, would I really go in the drawer just to find this citrus peel if I had a bunch of oranges to do? Maybe, but for me, on an everyday use, I'm gonna give this a fail. Easy peel. We was together for only one minute. But you meant a lot to me. I'm gonna call you. Bye-bye. I'm actually excited to try this. I don't really chop my own salad. Who does not buy bag salad? I mean, who's still buying the whole leaf? But if you have to cut and chop a salad, this could be your answer. This is the good grip. It's supposed to make life easy, so you don't have to use a knife. This binding type package, I find this to be the worst packaging in the world. This is discriminatory packaging against us lazy people. I am not here for that. You need to be an equal opportunity packager. Okay. As you can see here, they have their little beautiful chopped salad. Girl, who is making all of that? But we gonna pretend today. I decided to be non-lazy, and I actually bought a head of lettuce. I do not remember the last time I bought a head of lettuce. Like like I said, if it's not in a bag and pre-washed, I can't do it. Don't act like I'm the only one. Who is making salad anymore? I'm assuming by the way this is looking, this is thinking that you've already cut it somehow with a knife. I refuse to do that. I refuse to do that. I want this product to do what it says it's gonna do. It says try me, but well, I'm trying you today. So we're gonna start with a snippet here, okay? Let's see if we can get a piece of salad out of that. Oh, I got a piece of salad. So let's see how quickly we can get our little chop on. Okay, okay. They is working. Y'all not coming over here to eat. Y'all see this salad? It look like, it look like Dexter. This looks like my kids cut this for their school project. Okay, so look here. I have salad. Now it could use some more chopping. But for the most part, these are super easy to use. The fact that I'm cutting salad alone is not lazy. Right there, this concept is a little off. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a four. Only because it is not an ultimate lazy. I mean, for you to be a five, you are a holy. This is holy, this is Moses. I'm taking my shoes off again. Moses, take off your shoes. But this is holy ground. That 
is the lazy hat I'm looking for. I have a carrot here. I don't have time to find nothing else. But let, oh, oh, son. We found the use. He may be, he may be a four and a half, guys. He cut this carrot beautifully. The slices are a little thick. He's working. I'm gonna keep him. All right, guys, that's it for Mommy Cray Cray. I hope you enjoyed these lazy gadgets. Let me know below if you have any of these. Would you buy any of these? Are these not lazy enough? And also send me any lazy gadgets that you may find or hats or whatever. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Subscribe, no friends. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Mommy Cray Cray, M A M I Cray Cray. And you can check out my kids' channel, Nye and Ellie Toy Show. We have a bunch of channels. Just check out Nye and Ellie. They pop up. All right, y'all, I'm done. Look at this lettuce. This lettuce is lazy. This is some let. This is some. This is some soggy, lazy lettuce.